Welcome to Getting Avon Leads and Making Connections at Table Events. Uh, so this is kind of the first webinar of this type. And uh, I am going back to the, the way I had things set up a couple of years ago where uh, I would do uh, some very sales focused webinars, leadership, uh, and then new reps. So uh, those are, you know, three of the most important groups to be teaching. So uh, I'm hoping that these more specific targeted webinars will be a little more helpful than uh, the ones that are just campaign updates because uh, that information is dated, where this information will be good for uh, years to come, hopefully. Obviously, you have to tweak it a little bit to adjust to, the, to what's going on today, but uh, hoping that it will help you build your sales skills and not just learn about the current brochure or sales or products. Uh, so how many of you guys have done an event before? If you put it in the chat box, let me know how it went. What type of event was it? I don't have uh, a ton of slides, so um, I'll try to make it a little more interactive. So I see a couple hands raised. Uh, if you can put it in the chat box, um, that would be awesome. And select all panelists and attendees so that we can all see your comments. Amy has done several and plan on doing one March 27th. Most of hers are at nursing homes. All right, cool. What's the biggest uh, change you've made since you started doing them that has made a positive difference? I know that uh, when I first did a table, I really had no idea what I was doing. And uh, that's how we normally learn, right? Jump right in and make changes and tweak. as you go, go, go along and do it more often. Um, Tina had one competition. Uh, Michelle did one, does one twice a month at Catherine's. So is Catherine's a, a wedding shop or what is Catherine's? And then we have a firehouse and school that Diane sets up at. Uh, Brenda does several every year no longer able to do setup and carrying tables. So thinking about doing smaller events, good. Um, Amy learned to take a friend or set up with a friend. It makes you more comfortable and more open to other people. And Catherine's is a plus size clothing store. Um, so a wide variety of places that you guys set up. Uh, thank you for sharing some examples because uh, I feel like the ones that I put in there are the more obvious ones where uh, it sounds like you can really ask to set up at, at any type of event. Um, I think even the event coordinators like having tables and having um, more participation and engagement with the crowd that always makes for a better event. Um, so let's get started here. Uh, some of the ones that I brainstormed was fine art fairs, art and craft shows, food, music, and beer festivals, health fair, employee expos, bridal shows, indoor mall events, car shows, farmers markets, baseball, soccer games, uh, then just even searching Google, uh, I live in Rockford, so I searched Rockford events, uh, came up with a couple, couple really helpful websites. 
Uh, and then just how you can kind of play with the different words to come up with different results. You can also do your city name and then say craft or vendor and then events or shows. And so you can also do that on Facebook. So when I searched for Rockford events, uh, gorockford.com came up for me and I pulled open our local events uh, for May and came up with a quite a variety here. We have a, a cars and coffee show, um, a, a great one five beer fest, outdoors fest. Uh, so search <laughs> on Google and search on Facebook and use your results as ideas of ways you can search even more and, and find different events because they're all going to be different uh, as far as how much it's going to cost to be a part of it, how big it is. Uh, I really feel like you have to experiment with shows to see um, what's your groove? What are you comfortable with? Do you like more of a, a smaller setting? Uh, or do you like those huge uh, summer fairs that attract thousands and thousands of people? I know there's a couple around here that go for like five days in a row in the summertime. Um, I don't know that I would want to do a show of that duration, but uh, finding friends, team members, or other vendors to kind of share that table and time and space with um, might be ideal for some of those bigger events. So festivalnet.com, that was actually shared with me uh, by Dee Williams on our team. So if you just go to festivalnet.com, you type in your zip code, how far you're willing to travel. And I came up with multiple, there we go, 35 matches. So, uh, First step is doing your research. Um, so let's see here. Tina is in a Facebook group for Connecticut events and fairs. Uh, Amy plans to partner with a team member to do a three-day festival this fall. Cool. So I've also partnered with team members locally. Uh, and the cool thing about that is if the event turns out to be a flop, you're spending quality time and getting to know your team member better. Um, so like Amy said, you know, everything's more comfortable uh, and feels more natural when there's someone else there with you. And I do feel like uh, when you're social with someone else, that draws in other people. So we don't want to set up a table and be sitting behind it looking at our device all day long. Um, that's not going to be worth it for you. Uh, so I really encourage you to, even if it makes you nervous, you know, stand up stand in front of the table. <laughs> I try to teach my sales girls this because they live behind the sales counter. And I'm always like, you know, come on out, walk over to them, ask them if they would like help finding anything. Um, you'll find that some people won't approach you even if they have questions. But if you start a, a casual conversation up with them, um, they feel more comfortable and all of a sudden a, a question that they wanted to know about Avon comes to their mind and oh yeah, I did want to ask. Um, so, so just get out there and even if it makes you nervous, uh, try to be social and smile and out in front of the table. Try playing some music. That always loosens up the mood a little bit. So have fun at your table. Fun definitely attracts crowds, attracts people. 
people want to know, well, how come they're having so much fun? I want to be there too. So um, definitely partner up. And if you don't have a partner, bring a family member and uh, you can bond with them as well. Maybe they'll end up wanting to be a representative after it. So festivals and shows was another website that I found. And this one was actually free for vendors to list their information. So you could come on here and find the state that you live in and you can put up your Avon information. You can write a description. You can even include a photo of your table setup. So liability insurance, uh, some vendor events require this and some don't. I know that uh, our mall does. Um, so I just did a quick search and uh, it looks like you can even get like just uh, event insurance just for that time. Um, so don't let something scary like insurance scare you away from this opportunity. Um, use our friend Google and figure out what you need to do to figure that out. Um, and don't let it stop you because it looks like it's pretty easy to get. Uh, I think I got it through uh, the company that provides uh, my business insurance, but it sounds like it's really a, a kind of simple process to get it through there. And then that last website that I had up even offered insurance on there. Um, so I'll just say a little disclaimer here that uh, Thimble.com, for example, is not something I've ever used. Um, as a, an online consumer, I am always careful to make sure that I'm shopping with a reputable website, reputable company that has a lot of reviews and has a high rating. So um, don't always just look for like the cheapest option. Make sure that you're not like, uh, signing up for something that's not a legit business. <laughs> um, I think uh, all of us have probably been tricked by that one time or another. Um, and so Square, I'm sure uh, many of you already have this, but uh, it's a really great option. I think that if you're going to do a vendor event that it's definitely worth it to have a way to accept debit and credit cards. Um, so I switched to a, a Square processor uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, a couple of things to mention on that. First of all, if it's your first Square account, you actually can get the reader for free. Um, and then I believe the the percentage that you pay on the sale is only like 3%. But what I, what I challenge you to think about is that if you don't have a way of accepting debit and credit cards, how many people are going to walk away because not everyone carries cash anymore. And then uh, as far as uh, me using it at the store, it has more than just credit card processing. So um, one of my goals is to get all of my inventory in there and actually uh, use it to track my inventory. It also, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, oh, 2.3 charge to your customer. Um, Really, I, I do pay the fees on, on my reader. Um, so I don't know if you can, if you set that up differently or how that works. Um, but I'm not going to go that far into detail in some of these things. I'm going to leave that up to you guys to research. Um, but the Square also has a loyalty program. Um, so have you guys noticed that maybe you go to a store and you use Square 
and you get an email receipt and you never even gave them the, the email address. Um, so that is a benefit of Square. So I just logged in there today um, and I have a, a total of 4,500 customers in there and I cannot see their uh, email address, for example, but I can sign up for their marketing program and send emails to those customers. So I encourage you to look at Square, um, you know, or PayPal, that's another option, but try to have some way of accepting debit and credit cards. So event preparation. We want people to know that we are with Avon and we want to look professional and we want to have fun. And right now, this portion is a little bit trickier because we're in the process of getting a new company to provide our logo items. Uh, but again just use google because there's stuff on etsy and there's stuff on ebay um, i'm sure there's so many representatives out there um, that maybe moved on from the business and are willing to sell their logo items uh, at a very affordable price so um, again don't let uh, town and country not being around uh, don't let that be your excuse for not moving forward with uh, booking some events. And what I will say is, uh, as far as trying new tactics of sales, um, I don't care how shy you are, you have to push yourself past that fear. Um, and the way that I did it was, I would just commit like it scared me yes but I did it and then I had the confidence that okay you know I'm committed to this I'm gonna follow through and I'm gonna do a good job and then uh, you know did it look beautiful the first time no did I know what I was doing no but I learned a lot of lessons and each time you push through that fear and you try something new, um, it gives you more confidence and uh, really gives you more insight into the business. So uh, that's a lot of the reason why when you know my team members come to me and say, Emily, what should I be doing? I come back to you and say, well, what have you tried? You know, what, what do you think you might want to try next? Because you have the answers. You have to get out there and try to do a ton of different things because it's not going to work the same for me as it will for you uh, based on location, based on our personalities, based on how we set it up. Um, so a lot of doing events and figuring out um, what your forte is, is uh, experimental. So let's have a pin on that says, ask me for a brochure. That's a good one for the shy people because you're putting right on there, ask me a question. <laughs> and I also like having a name tag so that people can put a first name to you. Uh, I waitressed a, a lot during college and we always had name tags on. Um, the logoed tablecloths are very nice. Uh, they were uh, pretty pricey through town and country. So an alternative to that is get a nice solid uh, fuchsia or black or whatever color you want um, and be creative with the Avon signage on there. Um, so I think it's important to know that you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a professional, um, nice looking table with a lot of information and you can make a lot of connections uh, even if you don't have a lot of product on your table. 
So wearing a shirt is always a great idea. Um, representing the company that you are there selling for. Uh, that doesn't mean uh, go grab food and be like totally rude to someone. <laughs> you gotta watch um, your behavior when you're representing the, the company. So I always think it's funny when you're driving and like someone totally cuts you off and they have like their, their company plastered on their, on their car. It's like, okay, that wasn't very good. First impression here. <laughs> um, Business cards are uh, so important. One of the first things that you should get as a business owner, they're so much more affordable to leave around places. Um, and you're sharing your entire store through your website on there. So make sure you have business cards. It's a lot easier to stick a whole stack of business cards in your purse and hand them out throughout town than it is to bring like a big old box of books with you. Uh, Vistaprint does still have free shipping on all business cards right now. Uh, I believe there's a code that you have to use, but um, just Google that and it will tell you 100 business cards start at $15. Oh, thank you, Amy. It's B C now. <laughs> All right, like business cards now. Thank you. All right, so what will your setup be? We can do one table. We can do an L shape. We can do a U shape. Um, tents are very nice. It's especially for outdoor events. Um, tents are a little pricier as well. You also have to be aware of the wind and make sure that you have it tethered down good uh, so that your tent doesn't fly away. Uh, we had a, a pool party at our last house before we moved and we bought like this really nice tent to have some shaded area on the deck and like Rob was mad because he was in the pool and he like saw the wind taking it and like a bunch of my girlfriends were standing there and they all just kind of like watched it go. <laughs> so uh, make sure that you have some experience setting it up. Um, maybe practice in your backyard or have someone come set it up with you. Uh, so you see here, this is very professional looking. Uh, she's got a really nice sign behind her. She's got some baskets that are looking very inviting. And uh, there's not a lot on the table, but it's very nicely organized and professional. Um, over here, we see quite a bit more of product. Um, she's prob she probably does events quite a bit. Uh, looks like she you know, knows what she's doing and how to do it. Um, so again, just start somewhere and you can always improve upon that. Um, here we have some of the interns at Avon. And I liked this picture because I think it's got little lipstick bullet samples on the table. And then um, who doesn't like balloons? So if you're gonna be indoors, uh, balloons are always a great attention grabber. Um, I, I don't know who told me, but uh, someone said like have something moving in your store display window because that attracts people's attention. Um, and even like sparkly, pretty decor on your table is, maybe what's going to bring people over. Uh, my mom got me uh, these really pretty like rhinestone vases from like Hobby Lobby or something and I used them in one of my displays and I can't tell you how many customers or how many people came in and wanted to buy that vase. So uh, it goes to show that a little style and uh, fashion can really dress up your table and maybe bring over people that it wouldn't uh, to start with. 
So you can come on Google and look for images. I did, let's see, Melissa's saying she did this the other day. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, so I love searching Google images for real quick ideas. And uh, Pinterest is another great place where there's a lot of helpful information and visuals so that you can get some ideas and figure out how you want to do it. So this was from our Rockford Making Strides walk. And we had a Team Avon table. And I just wanted to show how important it is to just have fun. Um, here, I'm giving Miss Ava a little kiss. This is one of my employee's daughters, Peyton. And we had one of those kissing walls. So we had the little lipstick bullets. Uh, people got to put it on, kiss a sticker, and then put it on the kissing wall, kiss breast cancer, goodbye. Um, so just a, a really cute way to incorporate our cause, our product, and uh, have something that people have fun with and want to take a picture with. Uh, and then you see Terry here is having fun with her bright pink glasses. So uh, be goofy. <laughs> Who cares like what people think? Be silly. Be yourself. Um, but of course, be professional. Uh, make it fun with a spinning wheel. So I love our spinning wheel. I think I spent about 50 bucks on that big spinning wheel. Um, but it is big, like, like three, two to three feet big. Um, so if you're only going to have one table, this would probably take up like half of it. So uh, get a smaller one. Um, but this one's neat. People love the wheel. They love, people love Wheel of Fortune, right? How many years has it been on? Um, when I was in the indoor mall and we would spin the wheel, people would always come in just to see how do I get to spin the wheel? So again, another attention grabber and you can have fun with it. So um, I found these stickers on just by searching Google. I don't even know who made them, but um, some good ideas for what you can give away. So the idea here is to collect people's information that are coming by your table um, that maybe aren't going to want a book or aren't going to buy something, but they might have interest. So let's collect their information and see, do you want to receive a brochure? Do you want to become a representative? Um, it really helps to have them fill out what their interest is in Avon so that you know how to follow up with them in the future. Um, Melissa, yes, I ordered my wheel on Amazon. And I, I do recommend, um, I really like having the dry erase because I can customize it to what I have a lot of. Um, so think about that when you get one um, that maybe you want it to be so that you can switch it up um, and you can do a free sample. You can do a percentage off. Um, so there's lots of different ideas to come up with there. Um, but the idea, again, at an event, most importantly, is to interact with as many people as possible and get as many people um, as a relationship so that you can follow up after the event. Um, I think, you know, the first event that I did, uh, I didn't know that. So I stood there and I had my product and I sold a little bit of stuff, but I didn't walk away with any potential customers or potential team members. And the event didn't really feel like a, a success. But um, if you are having people fill out the contact forms, 
let's say you only sell $50 worth of product, but you have 35 people to follow up with, um, you never know what's going to come from that. So that might turn into a fundraiser, which could produce a hundred new contacts um, that could produce 10 new loyal customers. So uh, don't think short term when you're at an event um, or at the end of it, if you haven't walked away with a lot of cash in your pocket. And hey, let's be completely honest. Some of these events are going to be a total bust. Um, it maybe it won't be worth your time, but that's something that every business owner has to do is try different techniques to figure out what works best um, and to continuously improve upon what works um, so that you have long-term success. So what are some of the supplies to bring? Uh, free samples. So free, just in general, draws people's attention. Uh, you do have to be careful because sometimes the word free does not attract the right attention. Uh, I think we had like a grand opening um, at my store and I literally think a couple people came in just because we had like free muffins and coffee. <laughs> Um, so you don't necessarily want that type of crowd, um, but use your words creatively to attract attention and to bring people over. So you of course want to have um, brochures with you. You want to have bags if people are going to buy stuff. Uh, the contact forms. So when I email out this recording, I'll include the template for that. Uh, recruiting information, for sure. I love the idea of uh, having a smartphone or an iPad right there so that if someone does want to sign up, you can sign them up right there. Um, as far as recruiting, the sooner you can uh, get them on board, the more likely that conversion is going to happen. Um, so why not enter their information electronically right there? It saves you a step of having to get home and enter it all into your web office. Um, you can also use the skincare quiz on your website and give them a customized skincare evaluation. Uh, so an iPad or a phone may help you lengthen your conversation uh, more than if you don't have that type of information with you. Uh, signage, so think about having uh, you know, a big sign and maybe some table display signs Samples, testers, demo products. Um, we talked about the tablecloth, balloons, and music to make it fun. Make sure you have writing utensils. I know some of these are the obvious, but it always helps to have it on the list anyways. Um, never hurts to have a calculator. I would make the prices flat and include the sales tax in that price so that you're not collecting odd information or I mean odd amounts. Um, have a clipboard, customer order forms, your business cards, uh, get change like you would if you're having a garage sale, that square reader. I love the product one pagers in Avon University in your resource library. Uh, under Product Central, especially for all the new face shop products uh, that are a little bit pricier and we may need a little bit more assistance in remembering all the benefits and uh, ingredients of the products. Okay, so then also fundraising info. You might want some handheld mirrors. And uh, a lot of times you can rent the table from the event. I would probably recommend that if you have the money because then you don't have to lug it all around. Um, so 
I have loved seeing all of these creative samples going around on Facebook. Um, Marianne Gorham from our team is uh, amazing at this. I want her to make me some. <laughs> this is something I haven't personally tried yet. But look how creative she is. She took the, the soft and sensual body lotion. She got these little containers and uh, put a, a Skin So Soft label right on the front of it and then put it in this cute little Valentine's bag. Um, so what a special like little sample. I would love to get that. Who's gonna like not want that? <laughs> So sometimes we have to get by the stigma of um, people associating Avon with a dated brand. So by doing like fun, really pretty, cool stuff like this, um, that's going to make them want to try it and be like, wow, this is a really great product. Uh, live, live out loud. So uh, Trisha Thomas on our team always talks about getting flower petals and uh, spraying your fragrance on that. Uh, I would include, you know, some sort of, I think she said she actually staples it to her business card. Uh, and then make sure that you write on there which fragrance it is. And then they have their way to follow up and order it from you. A lot of people don't like to buy a new fragrance right away. They like to take it with them, see how it smells. A lot of times they do like to spray it on their skin because um, it can smell differently on different people. Um, but again, just another way to sample and having full size bottle is going to give you hundreds of samples where, um, you know, the little packs that we could buy only have 10. So here's some of the, the products that I came up with that I think will sell well on your table. And I must be feeling social because I thought I didn't have a lot of slides and now we're already 40 minutes in. Um, so we have Skin So Soft Original Bath Oil. I would say nine out of 10 people know Skin So Soft. Um, so maybe you wanna start out with just all Skin So Soft. Uh, I like simple, um, but having a lot of information and making the best opportunity out of your table. Uh, if you're doing a summertime outdoor event, I think you could get away with doing the bath oil, the bug guard, maybe some deodorant and lip balms. <laughs> um, so see what works best for you. A lot of times the bath and body is going to be a little bit cheaper for you to stock up on to have inventory. Uh, but again, don't feel like you have to have a lot of inventory. Um, make what you do have look nice and professional and uh, fashionable and build from there. You can always go bigger and better each time. So wash off waterproof mascara. I sell a ton of those. The eye makeup remover is one of our top sellers. Um, again, people love their Avon deodorant, hand creams, lip balms, uh, shower gel hooks are always a great seller. And then I also said, you know, those custom samples, gift sets or bundles, people love to buy a gift that's ready to give uh, and then try it kits. So maybe you wanna put together some order forms, uh, a couple brochures, some samples, a fundraising sheet, uh, someone that's maybe interested in selling but not ready to sign up give them the little try it kit. Say here, this is my gift to you. Why don't you just go see if you, um, if you get any orders and we'll go from there. I think Amy didn't, you was, Amy was the queen of try it quits, try it kits for a while, I think. Okay, Melissa is asking, I'm having trouble hearing you. Uh, what would be good pricing for basket sets? Uh, so I, at Christmas time, um, I buy a lot of the bundles 
and then I wrap them in uh, cellophane bags and I buy like those nice twist tie bows that are already created. A lot of times I'll buy like an eye mask or socks, um, stuff from the dollar store to go in there to dress it up. I think adding three to five dollars, depending on how much stuff you have in there, probably closer to three dollars for bundling it up. So um, whatever the price is uh, in the book and then, no, that's okay. Um, yeah, add, add, I would add like two to three dollars depending on how much you really do to it because they have, they also at the dollar store, and like Oriental Trading Company and Amazon, they have those cool like decorated boxes too. So you can get really creative. Uh, here's dressing up the table with just some netting and bows. And I think it's important to point out uh, that a nice looking table has different levels. Uh, so that's why I included in here these acrylic risers. Uh, there's different ways to display jewelry. Um, if you just look at some of the examples that I included, um, a lot of them that look really nice have like different levels of height. Um, so you can achieve that several different ways um, and having signage and uh, some decor on there will help that too. I wanted to include this image here. Um, I did a smoky eye event at the store at one time um, and this set, this set was really cool. So uh, I forgot about it until I looked at these. So Avon, if you're watching, this was awesome. So on our websites, they actually had these three different sets and they were like super affordable. Um, so there was like a basic set. I think it was like 15 bucks. There was like a medium set where you got uh, all the stuff in the middle picture plus the, the first set. Um, so I, yeah, I think that was somewhere, I think that was like 50 bucks for all those brushes and everything. Um, and then the premium set came with this really cool purse. Uh, it had a new, it had samples, uh, little mini travels. Um, so the big set was like a hundred bucks. So I did sell a lot of like the middle size. So I love the idea of having, you know, a bunch of different sets of something that's very simple, uh, but it's gonna be a good seller. Um, so here's again, some ideas for your table, uh, coming up with themed gift baskets. So having stuff for children at your table is always going to be a good idea to draw kids over, then the parents come, <laughs> and then you can strike up that conversation. Uh, bundling. So maybe you want to do a better deal on uh, some of the products than what the book has right now. Um, and bundle it up. So maybe a bubble bath by itself is, uh, say, six bucks. But if you buy two, you get them for 10. So uh, try to increase that sale by encouraging them to buy multiple. Uh, and then this is working tremendous for me, 20% off 50 or more. Uh, my skincare sales have really gone up since I started consistently giving out a postcard with a coupon on it. Uh, so what I'm doing uh, so like in November, December, and January, I handed out a coupon that was only good starting February through April. Um, so I handed it out to them when they shopped with me, but they couldn't use it until um, that starting period in February, and they have through April to use it. Uh, so I love the idea of that. It is giving them a, a discount, but it's encouraging a higher sale and making them re repeat customers for me. Uh, network with other vendors. So I included lots of uh, Team Momentum pictures that I could find here. Uh, I wanted to show 
how, um, you know, Leisha just kind of casually says, ready for another great day, even more vendors today. Um, so she's not pushing anything on anyone. She's proud of her table and she's sharing it with her Facebook audience. Um, and then I also wanted to mention if your event is slow, go talk to the other vendors that have tables. Um, maybe they do it often and you guys can partner up. Maybe they wanna become a customer. You never know where conversations are gonna lead. So try to make the most out of whatever event at you are at, um, even if it's not as good as you were hoping it was gonna be. Try not to let that dampen the mood. Um, and then Melissa here shared her little cute sample packs. Um, I love that nice little organza bag with the drawstring. It's got a, a lipstick in there, a fragrance, her business card, and a mint. So um, love that. And some more examples. We have Marianne. Again, just kind of sharing her excitement, not like, hey, come, come buy Avon from me right now, uh, but just sharing how excited and proud she is of her hard work. Uh, and then I also love Jennifer's. Jennifer's is um, super organized. Uh, look at that lineup of clipboards. Um, she's inviting several people to fill out information uh, to become a rep or to uh, become a customer. She's got, uh, looks like some, some nice quads that are open. Uh, any sort of color is going to draw attention. Um, so don't just leave like compacts just shut so that it's just a, a black, black packaging on the table. Um, and then she's got a nice display of some of the different sets of Anu. So Anu is going to be pricier. Uh, so maybe you want to just have demo bottles and say, hey, I'd be happy to help you um, place an order on my website right now and, you know, we'll ship it right to you. So um, that's a way of getting around having to have a lot of product on the table. Uh, but still trying to get those skincare customers uh, because we do love our skincare customers. And here we have Sarah Robinson. Uh, again, very nice and neat. Uh, she's got her pretty A boxes to add to the, to the look of the table. Um, she's got brochures and literature. Um, really great job. And then we have Cheryl. Uh, she's got some chalkboards there saying, uh, you know, she's doing the bundling there. Buy two, get one free. Uh, I think, yeah, I, I love this little sign. Take a selfie. Um, you know, maybe you want to give a, a gift if they tag you in their, their photo. Um, and I love that her granddaughters were there and they made a day out of it. And then we have Christopher Lewis, who uh, set up at a Christopher and Banks store. Um, so they were having a fall fashion event. Uh, and I, I think that um, Avon almost used to, I feel like they partnered with a couple different companies. I feel like at one time we partnered with Applebee's and I think Cato um, clothing store. Uh, so, so try to find, uh, you know, different smaller retail businesses that may invite you to set up and uh, maybe bring in a different type of customer for them. It's always good to network with business owners. And um, I forgot who it was, but you said that you set up there twice a month. So that's that is awesome to have like a guaranteed table event twice a month. And then we want to follow up. Do not forget to follow up. That might be where the gold is, okay? 
So um, you can enter those contact cards when you get home, or you can enter it straight into your web office. Those of you that are newer with us, uh, Avon has an automated email program. So when you add a customer and their email address, Avon will be automatically marketing your website for you. Um, so you always want to be building that list of potential customers. It's best to collect as much contact information as you can. Uh, even though I'm not mailing as much these days, uh, I still do collect physical addresses. Texting is becoming more popular. Uh, try to connect with them on social media. Maybe they'll, they'll think you're interesting and hey, I wanna try some Avon from her. So uh, you can also have your own Facebook customer groups. Uh, if you have a group, you can go in there and invite people by email address. Um, so again, I just kind of showed you uh, some of my displays at the store. Um, here we had a, a featured breast cancer table. Um, nothing fancy, just simple and clean. So, uh, you know, you can start anywhere and, and have fun with it. You know, I have tinsel in there, um, Dollar Tree baskets holding a lot of my product. Um, Dollar Tree, I found those fake oranges there. <laughs> um, I printed out a bunch of the images from Avon Social and framed them. Um, you know, none of this stuff costs me a ton of money, but it really dresses up how it looks. Uh, and I just wanted to show, you know, before I knew what I was doing on social media or marketing online, my main goal was just to build my network because I knew that if I wanted to build a big online business, I would have to have a lot of connections. Um, so I did just friend request and try to connect with people that I had something in common with. Um, and you know, slowly over time, it did become more of a following and I'm, surprised myself by, <laughs> I don't know why that many people like to watch my videos, but um, you know, if, if marketing online and growing your traditional business big is something that you want to do, you have to continuously build that pool of potential customers and team members. And, um, What's cool is the bigger it gets, the more you can segment them um, by their shopping habits and the brands they prefer. Um, so it really becomes fun. So don't be afraid to try to put yourself out there. Um, it takes a lot of contacts to get big results. So um, you'll see, over my 12 years, I now have almost 57 contacts. Um, and those are people that have given me their um, information. At, at one time or another, they were interested in Avon or they were on my team or whatever it is. Um, it takes big numbers to get big results, but um, you do see my online sales uh, over the last year were almost 100,000. So um, hopefully that inspires you. Um, Rachel, yes, constant contact charges a monthly fee. It's based on how big your contact base is. Um, but for example, like, my size of list is like $300 a month, but uh, to do a mailing to like a thousand people would be $300. No, it'd be way more than that. So if, 
it it is pricier but if you think about okay i can send them as many emails through the month that i want um and that whole monthly fee includes the whole month and i don't have to pay postage um it it is definitely worth it for me um there's some marketing services where uh it does become excessive and you don't feel like you want to pay the monthly fee but for me email marketing is definitely worth the money all right any other questions i know that um mailchimp is another popular one that representatives use i think mailchimp and constant contact are are the most popular what i like what i really like about doing my own marketing is that i can see stats i can see behaviors i can see trends i can monitor my my list growth um so so many reasons to do your own um but if you don't have the time or the money, uh, Avon's program is definitely really nice. And you can recruit to them too without, without pushing it in their face. I always include it, you know, in with my customers. I don't just recruit, try to recruit them, but um, I'm always having both messages in there. All right. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> we are off to Orlando. Um, the last time that we went to Disney was actually on an Avon trip. So we kept those magic bands and we're activating them. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been to Disney, but you basically have to plan out like hour by hour, like three months ahead of time. <laughs> I did remember that I needed to um, be sure to have dinner reservations at the parks. And then uh, I forgot what else I knew I had to do ahead of time. But I forgot to do the fast passes for, <laughs> we're going to go to Hollywood Studios. And I forgot to do the fast pass rides. So now we're just going to have to get there early. Um, yeah, Disney, I love Disney, but it, it's also crazy that like, <laughs> you have to be like on the ball to like take advantage of everything. But we're gonna go to the new Star Wars world. We're gonna go to uh, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios. So I'm excited. I've been putting in long, long hours of work. So I'm ready to, to vacation for a few days. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining. I hope you found it helpful. I will send out the recording and I shall return after spring break. Good night, guys. Bye.